911, what's the location of your emergency? Highway 64 going west. We're in a school bus and hit a downed power line that we are attached to, full of kids. It was a Monday morning in April. It uh, was a very wet snow spring storm. It was the heaviest snow I'd seen in a long time. We had outages all over the upper half of our system, so we had crews running all kinds of different directions. We had a uh, Future Farmers of America competition at Colorado Northwestern Community College in Rangeley, and uh, we loaded the bus and we headed west. We got about seven miles west of town, and I kind of saw a flash uh, noticing that the snow had fallen off of one of the power lines. It uh, bounced from the loss of all that weight, and the school bus caught the ground wire. I didn't know what it was at first. I saw two, maybe three bursts of fire, and then it ricocheted in front of our school bus. At that point, I knew we were in pretty big trouble. It was an unmistakable sound of when wire is leaving a roll at an inordinate amount of speed, and we started dragging power lines for the next at least 100 yards. My first thought was the bus will either slow down on its own or the power lines will stop us. I did not hit the brakes because I wasn't sure if I had a charge from the power lines going through the bus or not, so I just let it coast to a stop. After seeing all the fire uh, vehicle that has gasoline and things like that, um, I really didn't want to witness my horse judging family and friends in a really terrible accident. That's kind of the ultimate nightmare for utility people, especially a school bus with children in it. And we had everybody remain on the bus, uh, sit down and not touch anything until uh, emergency vehicles, White River Electric, uh, the Sheriff's Department, and the EMTs all came. They know to tell people not to get out of the vehicle because uh, that could create that circuit and seriously injure or kill somebody. Well, you, you can never assume that a, a wire has or doesn't have electricity in it because you can't see it. It travels at the speed of light and approaching the temperature of the sun. So it's extremely destructive and avoidance is probably the best defense. Once White River Electric made the scene safe, then we were able to get the bus out of the power lines and get them pulled off side of the road. Emergency crews went in, checked all the kids, and made sure everybody was safe. A very dangerous situation was avoided because the correct steps were taken. People were patient, people communicated, and help was there immediately. Everybody did everything right. Clint knew not to leave the bus. Uh, it was just a good job all the way around. We're a small community. We share information amongst everybody. It's important that uh, White River Electric and all other electric companies and co-ops continue to keep that safety message going out to the public. Uh, I don't know if it's satisfying, you're just very relieved, you know, you just uh, you dodged a big bullet. It was one of those wrong place at the wrong time type of deals. But, so, but uh, we were told to get back on the bus and we went on down to CNCC and competed and some of the kids got their name called and ended up having a good day.